Hello there. Oh, ah, uh, you. Hello, everyone. My name's Ghost Wolf Alpha. Back again with another stream tonight. How are y'all doing tonight, Chad? I hope we're all doing well. Hi, Yoza. How are you doing? Well, um, got some got some interesting news today for MechWare Online. Um, that I found that I found out today, and thought might as well might as well spread it all to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you do your setup. Just lurk around. I'll contact you whenever I do start doing doing drops when I'm ready for you. But uh, anyway, um, we got ourselves some some again MacWare Online news. Two things: the free mech for this month, and a new mech that's dropping in. Could be dropping in for pre-order. Anyway. As you, again, as you can see, with the Farver Tier King versus the PSR. <laughs> anyway, let me just get into the get into my box of hats. Give me one second. Uh, I wish I had myself a rum rummaging sound effect. Just imagine it right here. And there we go. <laughs> of course, it's still go ghost. Um, ghost-like, but hey, what do you expect? Anyway, ready to get started? Shall we? Okay, let me get the web browser up here. Yeah, as you can see, we got ourselves the Bull Shark. From, from Hairbrain Schemes, Battletech... We got the bull shark. Now, a little bit of lore, quote unquote lore, mind you, this is apocryphal content, so um but if you remember the heavy metal campaign, the the mech in the mech in this the mech of that campaign is the bull shark. One we were chasing down because they because Clan Wolverine developed it. And of course, they ran away with it. So all those bull sharks were on that ship, and of course, Inner Sphere being the Inner Sphere, let's just downgrade the shit out of it. Um. So we got ourselves some. Got our, So technically, it's a a clan mech, yet it's an Inner Sphere mech. It's kind of one of those shaky in between. Also, let me get some music going here real quick. It's a little bit too quiet. Okay. There's a pre-purchase page, uh, page. I'll open up a new tab. Basically, st the collector's pack, for $40.00. Add-ons are fifteen, which is a special skin for the number for the second um, bull shark with a special variant, and a hero mech, which is of course the of course right here. Now I'll get into the variants right now since we're done with that. Now we got ourselves with the uh, one loadout. Two AC5s and um an SR two SRM6s and five medium lasers. I like I l that's a good default build in my opinion. Even though it has XL engines and it's wide, I I can see this working. Maybe swap those to light auto cannons. Drop that down to a um light engine. I think it could work. Okay, let's see the Bull Shark 2. Okay, this one's gonna run really hot. Four PPCs. And one, two, three, two, two, four, six, eight lasers in total. But hey, jump jets. Yeah, I 
I think I think someone could figure out something, especially with those high points on on it. Um, if you notice those high points where those missiles are on the Mako, that will be the high points for energy weapons. Um, let's check out number three. Oh, it's a missile boat. LRM tens, um, six of them. Um, medium lasers and a tag in the head. Okay. That does sound like an interesting missile boat, but it would be a nice interesting miss missile barrage if you put in MRMs or Thunderbolts. Okay, the n BSK-4. Kind of like a rip-off, um... Kind of like a rip-off King Crab of sorts. It has more... M oh, I did not see this. It has Clan Tech installed. <laughs> That's your Bushwhacker in Assault Mode. <laughs> oh... This is a mech guy I definitely want, the BSK-4. There's nothing like insulting clanners by installing their tech in a clan wolverine mech. That's like the biggest middle finger you could give them. I'm happy. Okay, number five. Back to the inner sphere tech. AC tents, PPCs, and four medium lasers. Okay. Not good, but yet not bad. Oh, they call it the not named clan because they're annihilated. We don't talk about them. Oh yeah, I change those for snubs and maybe change the change the AC tens out for something else. Anyway, let's go with the numbers check out number six. Oh, this one's uh This one's gonna be else I'm um, gonna be interesting. Um one, two, three six AC twos, um six medium lasers and a large laser. That looks like it's going to reach out and touch someone. I'm not taking a look at the quirks because it's subject to change. Now let's check out the Mako here. Okay. Okay, this... Okay, give me one second. I need to look at something. Um, we'll go to Sarna. Because I'm trying to remember what the... Okay. It's kind of the take off the, the MAZ version. Because, it's, because if you notice here, it has the L, two LBX tens, ultra auto cannon fives, um, uh, like the like it has on the arms on this one. Yeah, because we don't have thumper artillery. Um, the medium. Oh, one second. Um, four medium lasers, which it has, and using all that extra stuff, they put in a, um, put it, instead of having a thumper cannon, um, two LRM-15s and two small lasers. I actually want it. I know you don't, I know you don't like the, like how it is set up for the, um, for it, but with a mix of LBXs and ultra auto cannons, but I can see myself piloting this mech. That's just me.
Anyway, comparison of scale to the Corsair, um, which one was it? 7A. Yeah, this is the number two. Okay, yeah, I could um, definitely, um, definitely get the clan versions because you can get XL checked. Because just notice how wide the side torsos are. I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, running an XL, it's just more or less asking for an XL check. Um, uh, with the bull shark, in my opinion. Don't know about the hitboxes. Okay, um, that's it for the, that's it for the bull shark. We're going to check out the new event. Well, which is the free mech for this month? Um, the Ebon, this Ebon Jaguar. Um, let me get a better picture because uh, I only clicked on the event portion, not the announcement. It is a Ebon Jaguar B, aka the Cauldron Born, as the Inner Sphere calls it. And as you can see, it has glowy bits. And in case you're wondering what the build is on the um, Ebon, Ebon Jaguar B, well, we're going to go to the game now, since, we're since I'm not done talking about everything else. By the way, we're going to be starting out with, an e with uh, Ebon Jag. Um... Okay, let's see. It was the um, B again? Yeah. Ebon Jaguar B. In case you're wondering what the default build is, it is this. Two PPCs, two large lasers, two medium lasers, and a tag. And an active probe. Runs... Hot. Rather not use that. That that build. Use any other build? Yes. Use that build? No. Anyway, we're gonna. Oh. Um, anyway, we're gonna use my prime build that I made a while ago. That has yeah, that the only prime parts is the head, center torso, and legs. It has it has eight medium pulse lasers, a whole bunch of clan heat sinks, twelve in total, um, if you count them, and a targeting computer Mark One. Okay, Yoza, I'll see you. I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay. Now since we're Got this all taken care of. Let's do some more bub matches before we before we go full bore tilt. Anyway, I hope you're all having a good night chat. Or good day, whatever time zone you're in. I hope it's I hope it's all going good. I might need to get myself a new mouse, or at least fix it up and clean it out. Ah. Okay, um, Vitrix Station Assault. That'll be a good start. And I need to mess with my mouse real quick. It's doing double clicking and all that happy fun stuff. Just do a quick... <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a feeling I need to clean, need to get in there and do a deep clean.
Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, because it's going to happen sooner or later. Oh, one second. Hello, everyone. How you doing tonight? Oh, sorry. <laughs> when you guys get the main mech, the clan mech, take a good look at it. They stripped the armor down ridiculous. So how's everyone doing tonight? Ready to burn some enemies with big robots. The Ebon Jag for May. Clan mech. And then look at the trebuchet that was uh, April's mech and look at all the bonuses it gets. And you'll see the disparage. And they try to call back balance. Good. Just take a Hellbringer. Fuck the clan mix. It's the Evan Jag. Sensors online. Yeah, it's Weapons about 50% armor. Online. To have All two systems PPCs nominal. and two large pulse. Okay. Okay, everyone, this is your override check. And make sure to lock those targets for those who need it. Make sure you have cool shot if you're going over um, using that shot down sequence override. overridden. Yeah, be careful. You don't want to turn yourself into an elephant's foot. I'm gonna work on that being down here because as because. This is a wub boat. Wub as in wub 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 wub. Not love. If it sounded like love, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm here in Bravo 3 and I got nothing so far. Enemy mech detected. Ah, Charlie 4. Target engaged. I have to wick me my way over that way. Yeah, that Jenner 2C has got an ER lock. Target engaged. And a uh, small pulse. It looks like the default build for that one. Target engaged. Target engaged. There's a lot of them at C4, a lot. You have to be careful. Ooh, somebody with hags. Oh, oh, hello. Engaged. Hellbringer, Hellbringer has hags. Target oh. engaged. Damn game, I hate. I hate when it freezes me up. Target engaged. Oh, this isn't good. That's how I died. Game frozen. Target engaged. Large enemy push coming to C4, Bravo 4. Got three or four assaults walking in. Target engaged. Warning. Yeah, Timberwolf has 8 or 9. Protocol active. Oh. Oh, someone got their. Back early. Enough, or is he Target grinded engaged. it? Juliet CT open. CT on side century and Juliet. Target engaged. Target engaged. Books far on Lima.
Left torso on the Heat level critical. Ah, come on. Dima, CT open. Target engaged. Enemy Critical hit. Center. Oh Contact. shit. Critical hit. I got I got basically ambushed. Okay, two two assists, one spying, five hundred and five damage done. Side of this one-sided match. Yeah. Target engaged. Protocol. Hag forty on that. That's who it was. Was a hag forty. Target engaged. Echo. Target engaged. DTR Neko. That's that Hellbringer hand because Hag 40. And that um, Annihilator is going slow. Although I like the build on the Annihilator Enemy though. Kilo, CT, nope, never mind, Kilo's down. Shutdown sequence overridden. Make sure you all stick together, everyone. Look up the assault mech, Lima. Remember, he's CT, CT on Lima. Enemy mech detected. Enemy mech destroyed. Target engaged. Fox, Fox Rod CT is open. Oh, uh, well, good try. Good try, everyone. Yeah, at least we came back enough to get kill half of them. Yep. Okay, five assists, one kill, most damage shield, 505 damage done. Down arrow. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to have to swap this up, or I'm gonna have to remember how I played this. I think it was, I think it's gonna be the latter. One more warm up, and then we're gonna start doing synchronized drops. I just want to double check something to see if I got everything for the rewards for... Yep, I did. I was just simply checking if I got the Hellbringer stuff. Although I think the next mech I'm going to get um, with C bills is going to be a trebuchet. Mm, excuse me. Got a bit of the hiccups. Okay, River City Assault. Yeah, that was a real toss-up. Oh, I need. I forgot one thing on my on my chat bot here. One second, while everything is loading up.
and it's turning this on. Okay, game, are you going to load? Hello? Uh, gotta love, gotta love uh, game sometime, huh? Do, 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 do. Of course, it does it does that whole, we're going to think about it, and then we're going to do a whole bunch of loading real quick. Because I'm going to need that. Come on, load up, game. I turn on the radar um, toggle. Please let me in. Let me in. Let me in! I don't have a feeling I'm gonna have to purposely. Uh, I feel oh, like I nope. I forgot I brought the wrong bushwhacker for this. This is the road reading the bushwhacker. Hello. Hello, everyone. Sorry about the loading. Never mind. Now you're here now. Now you're here now. So, how's everyone doing tonight? We're good. Alright, everyone, make sure to hit those override keys and lock your targets for those who need it. Alright, also stick close together for safety and, yeah, focus your fire as the game is about. Grab a battle, buddy, because we all know that the strongest weapon in the inner sphere is a good team. Uh, that's sure the case. Case. It's most likely from the game. Information ammunition. Oh, this money's right, so I'll suck at this. I'm so Tank strike protocol active. Well, I have the chance of better cross. Enemy mech detected. Target engaged. Anything over? Oh, nothing here yet. Wait, Get maybe. Pull back just a smidge. Target. We're waiting for this trail. We've got enough tonnage here, we could literally wipe the whole team. Target. Trail is insane, so just make sure to rip off armors, and then we're done. Like we just win. We just pop one, two, three, four. Target engaged. <laughs> That's their idea.
override. I forgot the override. Oh, it's a stick. so I couldn't get to him. Oh well. Always more targets. Target engaged. Tank strike protocol active. Get rid of that guy. Engaged. Okay, the firepower on that Marauder 2 has been halved. Alpha CT open. Focus fire on Alpha. Enemy mech destroyed. Focus fire on Delta. If you don't see anyone else, let's all pile it on pile on their base. Go for the base, you blue. You need to underestimate the light. So I'm gonna see you. Go for the light fuck with me, yeah. Hello there, hey I'm doing good, Bella. How you do how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Alright everyone, it's just one I'm left, good. but we don't want to hunt them down, we just pile on their base and we win. Oh, he's AFK. Don't really care, let's just simply hop on their base and we get better, po get more points that way. Do 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 do. Ah, there we go. We're trickling in. Oh, it's just a simple linebacker. I don't even like the build on it. Enemy mech destroyed. I thought we were going to go for the cap instead of the kill. Uh, anyway, good game, everyone. Genesis DD apparently didn't listen. Two game, guys. Okay, one there kill, was, six yeah, assists, one solo, two kill most damage dealt, 829 damage done, and an up arrow. Nice. Okay, I'm going to swap up Max. And... We can either work with a blank slate here, or we go for something... 
excuse me, that we, I've already done before. I'm leaning towards something I've done before because I don't feel like working on the helping on stream here. No. Actually, I just want to double check something. Uh, not really happy with that, with how that's all set up, but that'll be for later. Um, let's break out. Let's go with the rattlesnake. Usually the Atlas RS. <laughs> or as I call it, the rattlesnake here. <laughs> In case you're wondering what the build is. Whole bunch of heat sinks and interfere target computer Mark II and four large X-Pulse lasers. Anyway, let me get my friend Yoza. Just give me one second. Let me go pokey pokey. <laughs> Also, oh, he is in a, seems like he started a match. Yeah, he literally just got into a game. <laughs> but he'll join us in voice chat. Let me just... Come on. There we go. Hi, Yosa. How are you doing? Hi, Godswolf. I'm doing fine so far. How about you? I'm doing good. Had myself a fun last match. Um, nice. So, you, you, you literally just got into a game when I just contacted you, right? Yep. Ooh. Bad timing on my part. <laughs> well, um, one second, be uh, one second, everyone. I'm going to do something <laughs> that I never thought I'd be doing. Um, first off, let me just... Do you need me to put it up, up, up streaming on Discord? Oh no, you're fine. Oop. You're fine, Yoza, you're fine. Um, right Got it. Right now I'm pausing my music and basically I'm bringing up, d bringing up your stream to show off. Got it. Currently using the Phoenix Haukuroi Kiri. Still trying to level it up. Mm hmm Okay, let me just get the browser. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I see you're running the running the LBX twos and medium laser. Um, hold on, your stream just froze on my end. Have to hit refresh. Got it. Anyway, I'm gonna let you. Um, talk, and I'll mute myself. Um, and uh, dis need. You can comment. You are being heard on in my stream right now. Okay, I'll, I'm going to mute it on my... Mute, um, because I don't want to have feedback, like, double as in double voice. Oh, right, right, right. Let me... I'll mute Discord and, on the OBS and turn it on on... Twitch.
Go for that left leg, we're trolling. There we go. Hey, he's like. Bye bye, dude. Uh, you are a light make without a leg. You are no longer my problem. I have to refresh. It's somehow with me. <laughs> Out with me. <laughs> Where did that one legged light go? Right there. CT as well. Surprise on that urban mech. Yep. They just gave up on their light, light mix. They just let us have the center. Man, what are you doing? That bridge. Yeah, that's not a real good strategy, no, right there, is it? Target Bravo, Victoria. Oh, Palmer. Okay. I'm killing the guy below. Right. The Thanks for helping the team. Fuck it, you guys are useless. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Pretty tough one. By the way, on my screen, you're doubled. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you're, um, you're, um, VTuber thing in the corner, and then the VTuber yeah, thing on my, my um, end. Okay. There's an assault down here in Echo 3 down low, guys. Oh, they are the end. That's why they hit win this so hard. One. Oh, he's one shot two teams. Echo up high. Oh, that juggernaut is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't bother much of with him. Yeah, he's a stick. What can he do? Just glare at you? Timberwolf is super dead. And it's just those two mechs left. Too slow. There we go. I, I definitely Very stole different. those two last kills. Those were not mine to take. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me once. Give me one second and we'll have everything set back to normal. Yep. Okay. Had to do a little bit of a delay there on things here. No worries. Uh, later on you need to tell me how to add the, your VTuber thing into my oh, yeah, OBS. I, yeah, I'll do that later. Let me get my music going real quick. Oh, how did I do that? I had myself a web browser capture. Um, yeah, I know. I, was I just don't to, know how you do. I was talking to person chat. Sorry. Ah. Oh, and also the mech that um my friend Yoso was using was the Phoenix Hawk Kurokiri. Anyway, yep. let me invite you to to um to the group here.
There okay, we go. Okay, give me a second. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. Hold on, there is a announcement in on my a Spotify, and there we go. By the way, do you have a stealth armor build on that on, a... on an atlas? Oh yeah, I do. Do you want me to break it out? If you want, I'm mostly curious on what you have running on it. Okay, what I have running on it besides the stealth armor is an AC-20, and two binary laser um, cannons with a standard oh, that... um, 340 engine. Oh, that is very powerful. Yeah, it is, surprisingly. And you think stealth milk. Stealth, stealth milk. Now, nice and dark colors, right? Mm-hmm. If you Wait, take... I told my... If you took Stone a look, Lyrian, the Lyrian Commonwealth was more of a bright blue colors. No, no, I'm talking about you know stealthy colors. Yeah. If you take a look at my stream, look at my mech. Is it wait? Is it the pink one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my excuse is if you if I sneak up on you and in this bright pink mech. And you didn't notice me. You deserve all I'm giving it, giving to you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. I, it reminds me back in the day. Oh, uh, if you want, you can run right now. Okay. Uh, put the matchmaking. Okay. We're gonna do a sync drop. Sync drop. Here's four and above. North American users only. Three, two, one. Drop. Oh, hello. As I was saying, it reminds me back on the day when I was just playing mostly Locust and <laughs> saw those atlases that clearly were running stealth armor that I just felt tempted on putting a tag laser on my Locust <laughs> and tag them just to let them know that I can see them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And but perfect. If the but sadly, the uh, Locust doesn't have tonnage to spare to put a tag laser. Yeah, I wonder if you, if I ever ran into when I was named Blood Atlas. Okay. Um, I don't. Um, let's go. Okay. What would you pick? For map? Yeah. Beaver City, maybe. Okay. Because it's going to be most likely assault. I clicked assault. Oh! We're going Terra Therma. Mm. This map can be fun, but I prefer to play it when I have jump jets. Yeah, I, I find myself agreeing more and more because it is a rough terrain. Like, like, you, like, um... You you definitely need those jump jets. Oh, did, uh, you did see the clan um clan um bush um not bushwhacker bull shark that I want to get right. Yep, the it has LBX ten. The LBX-10 and the Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Yeah, that definitely reminds me of the MAZ, MAZ version, except without the Thumper Cannon. Anyway, give me one second. Hello, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Terrible. How are you? Well, I take it that you had yourself a whole 364 um, bad um, good days. You decide, decided to have a bad one. Um... I'm just using the old Shagwire. Everything okay? In, on Discord? Yeah, I mean, you're breaking up a little bit. Crusader 5K. No, okay, it, hello? Okay, we're good. Okay, so it was on my end. I thought you muted yourself. No, I was hearing like this um, popping sound. Weapons online. Huh. 
That is weird. This cut has been working weirdly sometimes. I don't know if you had been experiencing it. Uh, experiencing it? Yeah, I've been experiencing it once in a while. It stands out though. Yeah. Uh, I think we even started on this side of the map that I really don't like start to yeah. start in. Oh, by the way, to my chat, ads are incoming five minutes. I had myself a fun day today. Oh, besides streaming, oh. of course. Today, Did something happen? Oh, um, yeah. Today was uh, basically a big grocery shopping day. Base, um, got my got everything I need. Me and my dad need. And we we're also planning for future meals, but we. But we got loaded down with a whole bunch of stuff. And the way Dad woke up was he was bright and chipper and wanted to wake me up at 6 in the morning. I usually wake up at 9. Yeah. Yeah, then he realized, oh, oh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, not 6 o'clock in the evening. Okay, Night Gear just charging forward. I think he wants to die. Yeah. Enemy yeah, the guy just simply wanted to die. And this is going to become a sniper match, it seems. Mech and G8. Oh. It's... I don't know what killed it, but it's fucking dead. I saw it shoot to side torso and center torso disappear in a single alpha. <laughs> Welcome to Trench Warfare, circa nine, circa World War One. Well, technically, technically, it's more like hill battle, but hey, got ourselves a bit big stretch of no man's land here. Oh, there is a wolf hunter that is red in the center. Mm -hmm. It's it's just hiding in the corner. He it, it knows the moment it looks uh, comes out, it's fucking dead. Ah, I'm gonna have had to do some bad decision making, but hey. Ah, crud, I'm over... overheated. Come on. There we go, stealth armor back on. I know it's a bad idea, but hey. Haha, <laughs> that guy just got hit. Mad got center door so open, it's yours. I got the dire wolf. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, do we have people on behind us? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there it is. I spotted it for a few seconds. It's a light mech in our own G8. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that are, are that Jenner's dead. Okay, so we don't know where the last one is. Let's go cap. There it is. Well, I don't feel like going going that back that way, so I'm gonna head to the. Oh, never mind. He over he. he <laughs> Hey, he was fighting against an Ebon Jaguar and a Nova, mm -hmm. so it makes sense. Yeah, oh, one second. Good game, everyone. Okay, I got three kills, five assists, 209 damage done. I got an equal sign. 528 damage done. <laughs> and, uh, our Frank up. Okay. Well, I did say the title of my stream is the Forever Tier Four King versus the P the PSR, so it makes sense. <laughs> More like the MRB, yeah, the Mercenary <laughs> Rating Board, yeah. I'm gonna stick with this mech to, well, for right now, anyway, and uh, okay. And ads are right now playing on my stream. Um, I'm Good. gonna take. A... Then we have time to yeah. check for builds. Yeah, and also discuss any um lore that you might think of to ask about. You know, I got that sure. sp spare Hellbringer. Um, the from la from last month. Should I delete it, or maybe try to make a new build for it? What do you think? All right, the Hellbringer. I haven't, I haven't touched my Hellbringer. I think. Is it a good mech, in your opinion? It's a glass cannon. If you set it up right. I mean, my. I, see. I mean, the one that I got before the free mech, which. Which I bought with my own C bills. Um, ha um, has two, which has two heavy large lasers, four ER medium lasers, and a clan ECM, and a whole bunch of heat sinks. Right. Oh, actually, I did touch it. Wait, did I? Yeah, what I did is essentially two ER large lasers, three medium lasers, and two AP Gauss. Okay. I didn't feel more... I don't feel very good about the build, but it seemed like it would do the job. Mm -hmm. But I never actually got a, into a match with it. Right now I'm taking a look at some other mechs, trying to see if there's something that I'd like to break out than, other than just sticking with uh, Atlas. Um, let's, go, let's take a look at light just real quick. We got that Flea 19 that I'm working on. Has eight mag shots. Hmm. What am I going to pick? I'm going to change the ER large lasers for heavy large lasers and see how that goes. Yeah. Because at pet at least in fucking in the max stats it still has a head mitigation of one point four. So mm -hmm. I find that usually works. Yeah, clan but... mech Oh sorry. Yeah, clan mechs run hot. Um especially with the heavy large lasers, but if you use them sparingly Instead of, like, say, putting eight of them into one mech, as in, like, say, eight medium, um, eight heavy medium lasers, it's a whole, it's, 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 it's manageable then. <laughs> yeah. Also changing the targeting computer for a laser EMS. Hmm? I just do it because it looks cool. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna stick with the, my current thing, the Atlas. Actually, I forgot I had the Jester. Did I not spend skill points on this thing? No, I just haven't played a lot with it. I'm going to stick with the. I'm going to play the Cap Catapult Jester. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to break out the, um, that Flea 19. Ugh, I'm not really good at light mechs, but hey, I need to learn. Anyway, so I'm, what do you have in, in that Flea? Um, got, got nine, not nine, eight mag shots with... Three and a half tons of ammo. Mm. Um, I mean, let's try it out. Although I'm not feeling confident with that amount of ammo. Yeah, it's say, kind of why I. Uh, oh, what were you on. going to say? Sorry. Yeah, I'm not that confident with it either, but it was given to me, so might as well mm. try it out. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of why I went for the Flea 17, because mm -hmm. it has mostly energy hard points, which lets, gives you a lot more options when building a la very light mech. Yeah. Okay, I'm Oh, ready remember to use mask. Yeah, um, um, I don't think it has mask. Oh, you don't have mask in this 19? Um, let me double check if it can... Nope, it can't add a mask. Oh. Then it's only the 17 that has mask. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm ready. Okay, for those who are at home that wanted to join us, let's do a sync drop in 3, 2, 1. Sync drop, tears... Hello... Um, one second. Did the command not go up? Um, everything's unstable on my end. Give me one second. Let me... Just... Maybe the command's not going through. Oh, okay, it just took a bit of time. Okay, now let's try this again. Sync drop, tears for and above, North American users only, 3, 2, 1, drop. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Don't know what happened. Anyway, you got any lore questions for me that I could bring up? Because I know you have the... So, whole... oh, 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 you go. Yeah, so... Was there a limit? Who, who was it decided how many clans were there going to be at the start? It was just... Cor I know eventually some were absorbed into other clans, but... At I the start they were like 20 or so? Um, I'm trying to remember how many off the top of my head, but yeah, um, uh, basic, it was more or less, I think he just pulled it out of his hat, his hat, as in his brain. Right. And you know how, how, um, Nicholas Kerensky was? Um, in a shadow of a great man. Yeah. While Alexander Kerensky was wine, he was raisins. Well, to be Same fair, he didn't, he didn't have much of a choice there. Yeah, especially being raised under Ameris' reign on Earth. Like being raised on a, first being raised on Ameris' reign, then fucking having to learn spend most of his life in a starship with flying on towards uncertain destination. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, when he arrived at that destination, he also got this brain um, bug thing that killed um, his mother. And he got it, but somehow survived. 
Oh, th that one I didn't heard of. Yeah, um, he, um, um, when they were, when they arrived at the Pentagon Worlds, um, he got, um, and they were trying to make sure it was habitable and all that, um, during those first year, few years, um, people got sick with, with whatever, um, viruses or bacteria was from there and made them sick. And so, right. and, and he got that same, um, disease. So... And so he became sick, and of course, eye fevers and all that fun stuff. Yep. And later on, there was the whole civil war thing. Yeah, which Alexander Kerensky died because of a heart attack. I honestly, I think it was more like more like a case of a broken heart. He tried to basically tried to preserve the best of the inner sphere, all the goodness, and it just. Fell out of his hands. Yep. So. And Nicholas, pretty much. Nicholas had no. Didn't had much of. Didn't had the best upbringing in general. Yeah. And so that. Lesser people would have gone even more crazy. Yeah. Um, one second. Hello, Ivan. How are you doing tonight? Getting farmed left and right by four man. All right, everyone. This is your override check. Make sure to hit that override key and lock your targets for those who need it. All systems nominal. Shutdown sequence overridden. We'll discuss more after the um, more of the lore stuff after this match. Yep. Okay, don't get surprised if you get like one shot that as a light mech. It's going if this is if you don't have much experience you won't know how to position yourself. Yeah. Trust me, I'm... It's going to be difficult unless you have the yeah, instinct I'm... to go about it. Yeah, I really don't have that much of the of the instinct for it. Um with the urban mechs, yeah. <laughs> But that's because they're basically the assault mech of the light class. Yep. Not that I think about it. The company of mech, that made the urban mech kind of like four. died off, one right? In canon. Um, no, they they've uh, moved into the Capellan space. I mean, oh. it, the, I mean, the urban mech was their first attempt at making mechs. Oh, and I think the idea was to make a make a mech for the Star League that's cheap and basically yep. give you get yourself a whole bunch of money. But of course, over the years, the Inner Sphere imp improved upon it. Hit the bricks! I'm going Shit. to try to help Gados Diaries. Ah, uh, 33. Yeah, I have no instinct when it comes to light max. I should I... not have picked that. Oh well. Oh, that one is very far away from me. There's a bunch of them are coming around. Rotating back. They're going back to the left now. Yeah, I know you are using XL engine. I know you're Phoenix Augs. I know because I have Phoenix Hawks. No reason to 
way. There's only two guys there. That's not a Phoenix Hawk, that's a Marauder 2C! <laughs> I like the name of this one guy, Smoked Jaguar. Oh, I just noticed it. That Phoenix Hawk did not have an XL engine. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no, that is a Phoenix Hawk. And it did have an XL engine. I confused oh. it with another mech that died. I'm um, just taking a quick look at the wiki nice here, real guy. quick. Good game, everyone. So I've been another thing. I've been hearing that uh, people say that the clan Gauss rifle is pretty much obsolete because of the hacks. Uh, no, they are. The basically hacks are more, in my opinion, are more along lines of you got um while the Gauss rifles are basically good at throwing. Throwing stuff far away, the hags, on the other hand, are more long lines of good for brawling, you know, getting up close. Right. That's my opinion of it, anyway. Um, also, I'm gonna go, instead of the flea, I need something with a little bit more meat on its bones. I'm gonna go for an urban mech. Got it. Uh, give me a second, I need to go to the restroom real quick. Okay. That case gives me a chance to get a drink. So we'll be right back in, in a little bit, everyone. girls All right, I'm back. Sorry for that. And I'm back myself. Got my had to get my bottle of drink here. One second, everyone. There we go. Got back it. to live scene. Okay. I'm gonna, of course, bring out the urban mech. Um, the R80. I have it set up for a stealth build. Got it. Uh, which engine you are going with? Um, that uh, usually with Urban Max is an X, X, it's an XL engine. Yeah, but is it like uh, an XL one hundred and eighty? Um, let me double check. 
Yeah, 180. Okay, then I'm taking this urban mech. Usually it don't improve the engine. Usually, but... well, when it comes to urban mechs, I'm usually either running a 170 or a 180, depending on the on what I have for build. Anyway, yeah, I usually just go with an XL50, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, for those who are at home that want to join me, we're doing a sync drop right now. Sync drop, tiers forward and above. North Bergen users only. Three, two, one, drop. Okay, my mouse is definitely double clicking when I don't need it to. Uh, uh maybe check on that while we wait for a match. Oh, that requires disassembling my mouse. Oh. Right now I'm going to be um using the map um building up the map vote multiplier, so decided to click on mining collective even though we got ourselves a whole bunch of Oh, great. We're go it looks like we're going Terra Therma again. Ah. Usually Mining Collective is... voted a lot. Yeah, um... With everything, I was thinking it was going to be Grim Plexus or... The, or Frozen City Night, Night Classic. Not Terra Therma. Someone had, must have had a whole bunch of multipliers. Oh, here is a lore question for you. Sure. Did the clanners, did some clanners ever visit Canopus? And if so, what happened? That I am, that I'm not sure of. Maybe, but don't know any stories that that they visited or not. My opinion, I think they, I think, I think anyone who left the, who quote unquote left the clan. Decided to move into the inner sphere proper, like remnants of smoke jaguar. Um, one second. Hello, everyone. How you doing tonight? But yeah, um, there is the whole. You know the. You know how there are remnants of smoke jaguar here and there in stories. Um, in lore. Well, I know there's one smoke jaguar that ended up on Solaris. You know the Revenant, the m m m Mad Dog Revenant. Hello. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is that is um piloted by a smoke jaguar that ended yeah, up on yeah. Solaris. Oh, um, during the oh, um riots there, he basically. Um, got in his mech, interested into a mech, and did a whole bunch of one-on-one -on -one combats with everyone there during the riot. Huh. Oh, by the way, this urban mech has two MRM dams and three small lasers. Okay, my mech has two snub noses and stealth armor. Oh, you have speed tweak, right? Yes. But yeah, yeah I was instead of that you were slightly faster than me. Yeah, it is um one hundred four point five kph. Yeah, nine mine is ninety seven. Nope. Turn on the radar. Who's a Comster has to reinterdict me again? At least they only take out the radar. Command confirming that we have possession oh, of he's oh. being attacked. Be careful. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Turn on this. Careful, they, they are coming from both directions, so. Yeah. Uh, there's a Phoenix Hawk. Wait, yep, two snub noses, you don't want to be hit. Yeah, I have two snub noses too, so... Okay, 
right back off here. Okay, I got a bit too much heat build up right this second. Have to wait a tiny bit. Okay, I have to get out of my position. I got too much heat right this second. Okay. I'm going to try to cover you. Bot spot. Oh, come on. The bot spot. Okay, let's turn off the turn off the stealth armor. Enemy mech destroyed. Target echo. Echo. I'll start sneaking around. Take this. Excuse me. This path. Patch it. Um. Okay, I'm cooled down enough. I'm turning back the stealth armor on. I'm trying to flank him. Back behind us, a light. He's in a uh, F5 area. The enemy is at 25%. Enemy mech detected. Well, I'm down. So, how did you do? Two hand, uh, almost 300 damage. That's cool. Oh, crud. I don't understand oh, why shit. people use night vision. Shit, 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 shit. <sighs> yeah. Two assists, two spotting, 163 damage done. Ow. I should have ran while I had the chance. Oh, while I'm while I'm at it, I'm hit the redeem thing on in the yep. in the event events thing. Tank strike protocol active. And you said you you're already dead. Target yep. engaged. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, with anyway with in lore um. Back to Nicholas Kerensky. Yeah, he was basically an incredibly flawed person due to his upbringing in the shadow of Alexander Kerensky, who everyone just simply, simply looked up to. Yep. He was course, just never going to live up to well, Kerensky. Yeah, he basically um, took, took his name. Um, Alexander Kerensky's name. T take everything, everything that he ever did, and associate it with the last name, thus forever entwining it with the family. Oh, say his the last name, aka the, you know what I mean, anyway. Yes. In basically, in order to forge his own glory. Last one is a stealth light. And all I can say to that is, he, he is, no, it doesn't work like that. Hostiles have collected 50% of their resources. Capture resource points from them to stop the bleeding. Yeah, yeah, and also he, also he took thing, um, let me, let me bring up the lore real quick here. So, um, yeah, he basically um, decided to. He basically borrowed ideas from medieval Mongol hordes, Shogunate Japan, and 20th century China to build his his quote unquote perfect society. Huh? When with the whole caste system, I was thinking he would also be. It would also be from India. Okay. Oh. 
Yeah. Because ancient India had a lot of uh, yeah, the he... whole caste system. Yeah, I, I, I think it might have also yeah, borrowed from that too. Yeah. Um, but he wanted it rigid, as in no moving between casts. Meanwhile, um, Clan Wolverine introduced the concept of moving between ca casts. Which, which even though Kurinsky out, um, outwardly um, hated, he secretly liked it. And then once everyone, once he died, everyone else decided to adopt. Oh, so there is actually movement between casts now? Yeah, there, there. Yeah, once um, Nicholas Kresge died, there, in some, in most clans, there is movement between casts. Yeah, four assists, 163 damage, down arrow for me. Uh, down arrow as well, but did 228 damage and took 297 damage. Okay. Also got nine kill assists. Okay. I really don't like MRMs that much. Yeah, MRMs they um they spread out a lot and they and it's basically you basically it's a dumb fire kind of thing. Like basically longer range version of SRMs. But with SRMs you have to get pretty close. Like the 270 meter range, but with uh, yeah, but... but with the MRMs, you got more distance with more tubes, but yeah, they just don't pack a punch. Yeah, in theory they should, but you but you sacrifice a whole. Or say if you're go like say with the MRM tens, comparing that to the SRM sixes, I'd rather take the SRM sixes because. Yep. Let me just go into into the mech bay real quick. If you look at the MRM tens, um, you go, they do ten ten damage in total. But if you look at the SRM sixes, they do. Um, basically 13, I'm rounding up because it's 12.9. Yep. Um, so, it's worth it, in my opinion, to get up closer, to do a little bit more damage, a bit more accuracy, in my opinion. Especially since there's, um, Artemis involved. Ba basically make a nice, tighter cluster. Yep. Well, unless they implement the Apollo, um, um, you know, mi missile guidance system, then, then I, then MRMs are just going to be, just basically, throw out there. Um, one second, everyone, I need to blow my nose. Allergies. Just, oh. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, oh, it's not as... In case you're wondering, um, my allergies today um, were fine until I went to this one store. They had plants inside and, well, concentrated pollen in one area and <laughs> everything happened. <laughs> yeah. I luckily never had allergies like that, but we don't have a lot of plants where I live. It's mm -hmm. more of an arid area. Um, uh, well, around here it's, it, um, you got yourself nice, um, so, uh, spring, summer, fall, winter cycle. A bit more emphasis on the winter, because you get yourself a lake effect here, all that fun stuff. Nor Easter's not like that. So, yeah, it just 
whole bunch of ice. <laughs> ice and snow. Anyway, I'm ready for another another round. I'm gonna go back to my Atlas um the uh, stealth one. Got it. You ready? Yes. Okay. Sink drop. Tears four and above. North American EU serves only. Three, two, one, drop. Um, but yeah, um Yeah, with the clans they basically ripped um Nicholas Kerensky ripped off a whole bunch of things from other thi uh, from other other societies. While Wait, even the Jade Falcons went back into uh, more mobility between quest casters? Not really. That's why I said most. They were well, uh, they they're too they're very traditional. While Clan Wolf is more liberal. Yeah. That's uh that's one source of contention. And most and liberal I'd say they are more more pragmatic. Yeah. Um, and of course, everyone hate everyone didn't, don't doesn't like blood spirit because, um, they because they're trying you know blood um even though they have all these different animals the reason why their blood spirit is basically the you know the spirit of the Star League that's what their i the idea was but it really didn't pan out so they were just a minor clan. Hmm. Honestly, Nicholas Kerensky should have joined Blood Spirit if he, um, if he thought himself to be a, be one, be a proper clanner. Um, you know, you know, basically instead of having to favor like say one one of those um animals, just favor the basically the spirit of the Star League. That's my only opinion on that. But yeah, as um, but yeah, um, the whole thing with Wolverine, it was a case. It's a case of, um, everyone just viewed because of how successful they were, they viewed them with suspicion, and then a whole bunch of ma um, ma um, backroom shenanigans going on with some other clans that didn't like, like them. I think it was Snow Raven. Um, that. Um, that caused some issues, and um, someone else blew up their um, blew up a genetic re um, repository um, with a nuke, I believe. And of course, that's a big no-no. And everyone accused Clan Wolverine, and thus the thus they got annihilated, or at least most of them. There's still rumors of them, of them, um, basically going, um, going far away as they could. Um, like, they, I know they, even, you know the whole Minnesota tribe thing, um, during the Succession War? Yes. That's them. I read about it. Yeah, that's them. Actually, wasn't it non-confirmed? Like, oh. there is sort of... Oh, it like, was. Oh, yes, they're them, but they are might not be them and stuff like that. One second. Okay. It has been confirmed. It was. It has been a. Rem it was a remnant of Clan Wolverine. So it is clan. So it is clan Wolverine. Those those people anyway. Hmm. Although the um, there. Oh, one sec. We got ourselves a match. Let's try River City again. And assault. Though it looks like we're going manifold. Anyway, um, there's this group called the Clave, a secret society within the inner sphere that 
popped up during the Dark Age, that it's unconfirmed that they are um, Clan Wolverine. Although okay. there are several things about them that pointed a direct connection to them. Uh, but they are but the group is very reserved and eg enigmatic. And of course during the um Republic um when the Republic of the Sphere came about, there was this group called the Fight the Fidelis. Um that that one of the most notable theories was clan, remnants of Clan Wolverine fighting for him. Um, but in actuality, it's Clan Smoke Jaguar. Right. Anyway, let me say hi to everyone real quick. Hello, everyone. How you doing tonight? Yeah, they yeah, Clan um Smoke Jaguar came back um in the Ilkhan era. Remnants of Clan Smoke Jaguar or did they actually try to They actually came the back, clan? came back. Oh, I see. By unpopular demand. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> But it's a case of they took the, basically they took out the viciousness of Reactor online. the, you know, the whole, Center we're going to raid everything. Weapons we're going to basically be like, be, be bandits online. in all but name kind of thing. Coming in. Get yeah. To the area and okay, and let's focus on the match here. All right, everyone, make sure to hit those override keys if you can, if you want to, and lock your targets for those who need it. Shutdown sequence overridden. I'm going to be sniping for a bit and then go down. Come on. I'm just right now looking around in my cockpit. Yeah, it's going to be a while until you reach the center of the mass. Yeah. Well, what do you expect? One fifty-five point one kph. <coughs> Tank strike protocol active. Oh, I was looking through my box of old tech stuff. Guess what I found. A um, Windows. I'll get to you in a minute. Whoever's sniping me. Um, I found my found um, the old copy of Windows 98 Second Edition. Yep. Got the radar toggle. Can you hear me, Yoza? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Just trying to focus on sniping. Okay. Just. Just film. That mat cat center is a little bit orange. Well, I can't see a thing because I'm stealth. <laughs> Understandable. I'm going to change position a little bit. Try to get a better angle. Ah. Okay, they got a. Uh, they got this. Okay, why was that guy th um, using the machine guns when he knows he's not going to be able to reach me? It's for 
intimidation purposes. Okay, trying to move forward. I lost. Ugh. Smoke from a Mac has just obscured my vision of the, my line of sight on some mechs. Ha <laughs> ha, I just legged a locust. Good shot. Yeah, just hit them with the AC-20. <laughs> That mad cat is really low. Right now, dealing with an urban mech with a rotary auto cannon. Ooh. I see a mech I can fire at. Currently suppressing that urban mech. Okay, I need to use a cool shot. And there goes my stealth armor. Kilo CT open. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. Well, now I got my me um, stealth armor back on. Oh, thank you whoever saved me from that catapult. Oh boy, that... <laughs> That guy Holy is just... Holy shit, that Marauder is just... Enemy mech. Uh, yeah! He made use of his armor. No one can complain Enemy that he didn't get... He didn't exchange damage. Yeah. Good game, everyone. Oh. Oh, go back the route. I like that dialogue there. Okay, let me just... Yeah, go back to the Russell Hog the Russell Hog Republic. Oh wait, you don't have one. <laughs> okay, one killing blow, nine assists, two kill most damage dealt, four hundred and eighteen damage done. Five hundred and fifty three damage done with three kill most damage dealt and eight kill assists. Nice, and an up arrow, of course. Yep. You know, I do like seeing trash talk at times. Yeah, I do. Especially if it is with in-game reference. Mm-hmm. Or, or this one example I remember seeing, you are adequate. <laughs> After I said, good game, basically I put into chat, good game. And the guy basically responded, you are adequate. <laughs> that sounds like something a clanner would say. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are, just, um, just so you know. If you want to change yeah, up your yeah. mech, you can. But, any, but yeah, yeah. But uh, where were we? Um, you were talking about the different clans? Yeah. And the whole... Ah, uh, yeah, you were talking about the... Oh, yeah, the, Smoke Jaguar the in particular. Yeah. Yeah, they... Um, let me just do a sync drop here. Sync drop tiers for it above. North American EU serves only three, two, one, drop. Um, yeah, Smoke Jaguar came back, um, mainly because they were, they were more or less declawed. In my opinion, um, because of the whole, you know, how they were, they were more along lines of raiders instead of actually developing a clan. Yep. 
um, basically ba ba um, challenging anyone for supplies and all that. Um, so yeah, this these um, these um, smoke jaguar are a little bit more tame in comparison. Like they got declawed. Yeah. Yeah, instead of being smoked jaguar, it's now smoke kitty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes you want. Oh. How, how good they were. Like. They were fighting for whom? Did you say um, they were fighting for? Well, be before they got revealed to be smoke jaguar, they became part of the Fidelis. Which is part of which was a part of the Republic of the Inner Sphere. Mm -hmm. Which was basic, more or less, um, kind of like Star League Two Point Zero. I don't count the reformation of the Star League in the face of the Clan invasion as actual Star League. It was more or less along the lines of everyone decided to unite and basically use that as a middle finger towards the clans. Yeah. So the Republic of the Inner Sphere was kind of like um, Star League type, or St Star League um, attempt number two. Um, let's go with River City. If we can. And we got River City. Nice. But yeah, it, it didn't last long um, after Devlin Stone left um, to go into his cryogenic sleep and all that fun stuff. Basically, he would return one, well, once the Inner Sphere needed him again. But of course, you know how that turned so, out. So, uh, a whole King under the mountain thing he had going there. The what? Um, king on the king under the mountain. It's a myth, predominantly about in the areas of Great Britain. Oh yeah, that where... kind of thing. Yeah, basically he will come back when everyone needs um need needs him the most. Yeah, that kind of thing. Of course, he did come back, but everyone was a little bit irked off with the revelations of all the stuff that he did. Because he was technically Word of Blake, um, but yet he decided to go against him, but he still had some ma machina ma 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 you know, his, his own plotting. Yeah. Okay, it seems my it seems my loading is gonna be having some issues. Yep. Make sure to tell everyone that I'm loading in still. <laughs> but yeah. Devlin Stone is interesting anyway. Um the whole Dark Age Everyone didn't really like it. I know that much. Right. Oh, shit. Having issues? No, no, it's just that... Uh, uh, the weapon... The, the weapons groups were messy. Oh. Had to fix them on the wheel dropping. Understandable. Reactor online. Ah, oh, there we go. Loading in now. Sensors online. Weapons online. Oh, you're already in? Yep, now I am. All systems nominal. Let me guess, you stuck around with me to keep an eye on me, right? Nope. That's okay, not mine. Then. Okay, someone else that decided to stick around or was having trouble loading. Give me one second.
Hello everyone, sorry about the loading issues. So how's everyone doing tonight? Very quiet. Alright, make hey. sure you hit those override keys and lock your targets for those who need it. Shutdown sequence overridden. Okay, my, for my chat, um, I'm surprised I'm not getting. Okay, there's the announcement. Five minutes till ad start. Multiple heavies on Echo 7, Fox 7, Annihilator, and Lerms. Continue forward here. Yep, careful with the LRMs. I have my stealth armor online. Nope! Someone hit me with PPCs. Enemy mech detected. Come on! Okay, I got hit with a few of them. Okay, the make his side door so he's open. Okay, there, cool down, down a bit. I had to use cool shot. King Crab CT open. Okay. Careful with the Marauder shoot there. Get. Oh, that's a lot of LRMs. There we go, King Crab down. Kilo's down, which is the King Crab. <laughs> There's an Annihilator. Didn't notice me. That's just sad. Although he is okay, a cadet, a... so. Oh, he was using a trial mech. Oh uh, no, it was a. I don't know if it was a trial mech, but it. The, but looking at the color scheme, it, I don't think he was. It's. A, it was an hmm. annihilator. Oh wait, what hit me there? Oh, Gauss rifles. And there goes my stealth armor. Target engaged. Right torso. Focus fire on beta if you can. There have just firepower. Beta CT open. Good kill. Target engaged. Hotel CT open. Target engaged. 
Foxtrot is fresh. Ish, anyway. Oh, the other one. Oh, it's a Marauder up in Fox 7. Foxtrot CT open. That's out there. Come on. Enemy mech. There we go. <laughs> he boiled himself. <laughs> Cause I have no clue where yeah, that locust is. Yeah, that is what is. happens when you use two ERP PCs. Yeah. I'm gonna go... Nope, never mind. We won. Good game, everyone. Suck on that, pal. Yeah. <laughs> For booze money. And we got the booze money. <laughs> okay. Two kills, seven assists, one solo, two kill most damage dealt, 739 damage. Got 308 damage done, and seven kill assists, and one killing blow. Nice. Up arrow? Yep. Same here. And just in time, too, my ads are about to start. So Great. So I'm gonna take a tiny little, um, gonna take a tiny little break from doing sync drops and all that, and we'll just do stuff in the mech bay and do a little bit of talking. Got it. Oh, this is another question. Sure. What's what up? What happened? What happened to the Ronin? The Ronin? Yeah, the ones that were captured, essentially. Okay, give me one second to bring it up. Um, I tried looking for it, but I didn't find anything. All I ha all I know from the Megwasher Five game is that they are captured and they are going to be trialed in Korita in Koritan cards. But that's about it. Okay, the Ronin from. The Ronin Wars, basically. Yep. Okay. They were more or less dissolved. Um. Yeah. Um, the game of right. Um. Anyone in particular you're curious about, or just just in general? Actually, Alexander Kurit, I guess. He was the second leader of, of the Ronin, after his father. Okay, um... Alec you said, um, Alex Alexander Curita? Yep. Okay, he's a... He's apocryphal. Yeah, I figured. Um. Yeah, the um. According to one second. <coughs> um. Yeah. Um. Basically, he, in order to keep the peace with the Dracotis Combine. He gave away his pro the prototype mech he piloted, and many valuable POWs were transferred into the Rosselhog's custody. Um. Hmm. No, I think it is the other way around. The Rosselhog gave away the salvage of that mech. Oh and, yeah. Uh, Alexander. Okay, that's yeah, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. Um. Anyway. Um, yeah, um, yeah, the last of the Ronin forces were destroyed. Um, yeah, um, from the wiki it says, clashes between the Ronin and the loyal DCMS troops were often, often bloodied. Uh, we're off to bloody. The loyalists are infuriated by the dishonor shown by the combine, by the rene to, to the combine by the renegades, and basically all DCMS forces withdrawn from from the Rosselhog Republic to the new, newly created Al Shane Military District after successfully destroying the last of the Ronin forces. 
So yeah, they were taken out, those Ronin. Yep. Because they decided to dishonor, basically more or less dishonor themselves. Yep. Anyway, um, my ads are over. Um, do you have anything you need to do before we continue? Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Let I'll me leave the radar toggle on because I forgot to take that off. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. I just need to pick a mech right now. Give okay, take your time. Take your time. I'm going to go with the Orion. Oh, uh, what do I you see? Actually, I'm going to change up real quick. Let, I'm going to bring my Orion as bring my Orion as well. Uh, which one was it that I was going to take? Because I got two of them. I got. What do you have on yours? I have three SRM sixes, two ER mediums, and two UAC fives. Okay, I have a mine, two heavy large lasers, four um, three SRM fours, and. Two ultra auto cannon tens. Ah, uh, the SRM six are with Artemis. Although I might change that because, despite saying it's one point five the hit mitigation, it goes hot. Yeah, I might change mine up too because I because I'm not happy with this build. Um, actually, I'll swap to my other mech, the the other see my other Orion, the one the. The A variant, which has an LPX twenty and four or four uh, um, SRM sixes. Right. Anyway, I'm ready. You're ready. I take it. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, everyone, let's do another sync drop. Sync drop. Tears four above. North breaking users only. Three, two, one. Drop. Ah. Double clicking it, it basically what it did was it clicked twice. It we put put us into queue and it, at the same time saying that it canceled. Yeah. Uh, Okay, we got the Bog, Crucible, Caustic Valley, and Colos Free World's Coliseum. I'm saying the Bog. Although it looks like we're going Caustic Valley. Yep. Ah, smell that sulfur. Somehow I always end in Caustic Valley when I'm using the Orion. That's weird. Most of the time, at least. Like, my, I always. Re I know I didn't just play Caustic Valley with the Orion, but most of my games I re with the Orion, I remember it from Caustic Valley. Uh, it's good. It's happening again. I'm wondering if I need to verify my files or something. I can wait for you if you need to do it for the next match. No, it's a, no, it's loading, but it's a case of it likes to hang for a bit and then do that rapid loading wheel thing. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm just wondering what's going on. Oh, there we go. Hello, Evan. How you doing tonight? Not too bad. Not Reactor too bad online. 
I'm doing pretty good. Sensors and also, unlocked. remind right now, a reminder: hit those override keys if you if you're confident with it, and let, make sure to lock those targets for those who need it. I never know where to go with, in this map, especially yeah. with a brawler. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's do it, people. Yeah, this map. I remember how it used to be like a vo basically volcano in the center. I don't. It was fun that way. In my opinion, Caustic Valley has just turned meh. Bordering on. Blech. I don't think I played the game when it was a volcano. I think it always was like this for me. Mm. Yeah, you, yeah, you're playing on. This is the newer version of Caustic. The old version was um had basically like this volcano-like thing in the center that everyone went up. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. Shit. I am... Back off. I am trying. <laughs> Ow! That was just... That was just bad. Okay, I'll be right back. I am getting myself getting myself something real quick. Got it. Uh, Salt, back at C4. We got a uh, Corsair coming towards us in C3. Thanks for blocking me, bro. Yep, they got um, Battlemaster Indigo four Charlie missile boats up yep. on the uh, north side D3. Can you send me back to me? Get him, boys. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Sink destroyed. It's alright. Needed also a little bit of a breather after that. Oh, it seems we're getting stomped, I see. Did 381 damage. Mm -hmm. We already know what I got. Zero. <laughs> Target engaged. Oh, you didn't tell me what were you using. I was using oh, Orion. Um, yeah, what? It, it was an LBX 20 and four SRM sixes with Artemis. God. The issue was I couldn't get close enough to. Without taking so much fire, I tried to retreat and just didn't work out. Yeah, this was a stomp. What the hell is this assassin doing? Respond. 
Yeah, this was just a stomp. Alright, 381 damage done and 637 taken. Yeah, zero damage done, 407 damage taken. Hopefully we get a better match. Boy, that was just rough, really rough. Okay, let's try that this again with the Hellbringers. <laughs> I'm at the Orion, sorry. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. For those at home, sync drop. Oop. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, folks. I didn't really press the button twice at the same time to cause that. Anyway. Sync drop tiers for and above North American users only three, two, one, drop. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a stomp. But anyway. Um, uh, you almost got two kills, but I couldn't make them count. Mm hmm. Okay, anything else in the lore that you want to know, want to know about? Or should I hit random? Yoza? Uh, yes? Uh, Sorry, did you ask Yeah, I was talking... Um... Do you have any questions about lore, or, or um, mm -hmm. or should I hit the random page to see what we got? What do you know about Clan Meat Weasel? Oh, Clan Meth Weasel. <laughs> That's a joke <laughs> thing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it is a good, it's a good joke one. Yeah, alongside with Clan Sneak, Snake Cobra. Yeah. And I don't know if there's another one. But yeah. Hmm. So, Clan Wolf in Exile. Okay, let me just bring it up. I am keeping an eye on, eye on the, on um the game here for when it come um comes up. Yeah, um, was I have to take this, this um lozenge out of my mouth? Um, okay. Yeah, it's a splitter faction of the original Clan Wolf, as you know. Basically, they continue to help uphold the Warden traditions under Phelan Kell. Um, and established a new home on Ark Royale. Yeah, sorry, can you repeat that one? Oh, are you having issues hearing me? No, I just kind of missed... I think you said a name and... It okay, Phelan, Phelan Kell. Yes? Yeah, he... Um, he could basically became the Khan of Wolves and Exile, and sided with the Inner Sphere. Um, basically it, setting up on Ark Royale. Right. So, but essentially, what what led to Clan uh, Wolf in Exile to exist? Oh, it's the Refusal War. What ha oh, game start? I'll. Tell you more in a um, we'll, go, we'll go to Solaris City if we can. Um, which we're not. We're going Emerald Vale. But yeah, the Refusal War. Basically, this whole thing of a trial of refusal, refusal between Falcon and Wolf. Basically, the charge of genocide labeled against um Ulrich Kerensky. Yes. And 
So what ha it was a case of case of if Clan um Wolf won it was a Clan Wolf won, it basically meant that um meant that they uphold the whole, you know um tr um tr you know, that whole um results at um tri Twicross. Um, and um, let me think what else. But if Clan Falcon won, basically they restart the whole clan invasion again. Mm -hmm. Um, and Oliver Kerensky took the Crusader forces of Clan Wolf while, um, while having the Warden wolves pack up their pack up their stuff and ship out. And, and that would basically create a schism there. And so he took basically the two two so Ulrich Kresge took the two crusader halves and just or they cru took two Crusader factions, the Falcons and the Crusader Wolves, smash them together, and basically ruined their war machine there. On one second. Right. Hello, everyone. How you doing tonight? Hey, what's up? Nothing much, you? Not much here, either. Okay. Reactor basically, online. um, Clan... Jade Falcon, even though they technically won, they lost, but lost because of dishonorable tactics. You know, the whole you um using a ER small laser as like a tag laser for um, there's a spot a spotting laser for LRM units. Yep. Um, but but because of how well the well the clan wolves did. Um, was smashing up. They took up, took out ninety percent of their material. Mm -hmm. Wait, did they beat the entire forces of the clan? Uh, of One clan, against the other? Uh, no, against um, Clan Jade Falcon. It also gave gave the sphere enough time to organize a proper resistance. Instead of oh shit, we we need to hire as many mercenaries as we can. And create a Gauss Gauss um, Gauss rifle firing line. Okay, let's focus on the match right now. I bet. Tank strike protocol active. Just as a reminder, make sure you hit those override keys and lock your targets for those who need it. Excuse me. Ah. Uh. Someone shot me in the back. <laughs> That's, that looks like panicking right there. Careful. I almost shot SRMs behind you. Okay. That commando is bad. Yeah, that's one of... That's the special one, you know, the... Elf one, you know. Yep. Oh, that. What the hell? Did my team just. 
they give us their third flank. I'm down. 123 damage done. What the hell? I know most of the... I know I took a lot of damage from friendly fire. Ugh. It was like they fired blindly into this one area. Anyway, back at the whole refusal war. Yes? Um... Yeah, oh, um, it, basically, um, oh, um, Ulrich Kerensky decided to step down as Ilkhan during this, became Khan, the Khan of, 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 um, of Clan Wolf again. Mm -hmm. Took the, took the forces along with, um, Natasha Kerensky as Sa Khan. Um, at basically second or Galaxy Commander, I can't remember which um, she was at that time. And basically led the... they all led the forces in in basically fighting against the Falcons. Um, Natasha Kerensky died first, um, and her direwolf that she piloted was left on the battlefield as basically testament to how testament to her mm -hmm. um, and how fierce she fought meanwhile the everyone Khan... can fight fiercely with that fucking dire wolf yeah basically showing everyone who's boss yep um and of course we all know what happened to um over Kerensky treachery um by having LRM boats basically pelt him to death, and him and his command star. Luckily, there was one person that survived, survived in order to testify against um the clan um the Khan of Jade Falcon. Right, which was um. I forgot his name. Vlad Ward. That's it. Okay, six assists, 123 damage done, down arrow. Uh, and I know. 473. Oh. And I know why. Anyway, how what, what, How did you do? I did 473 damage, uh, two kill, most damage dealt, one solo kill, and one killing blow. Mm hmm. 5 kill assists, and I did 22 team damage, mostly in that, probably in that corridor right there, mm -hmm. near where I died. Okay, I'm swapping to a different mech. I've been ha since I'm having no luck with the Orion, I'm gonna go back to an Atlas. Got it. I Actually, have do you have a Marauder 2? A Marauder 2? Um, no, but I have Marauder 2 Cs. Oh. Yeah, um, let me just scroll down here real quick. Yeah, I have... They're both... I have two Marauder 2... Two, two uh, Marauder 2 Cs. And both of them are Marauder 2 Cas. One is a regular, yeah. the other is a special one, which is the Christmas one. If you're wondering what I have for a build on it, it is 
two PPCs, two medium pulse lasers, and an ultra auto cannon 20. Right. I decided to basically create the. Um, take inspiration from the Marauder 3R and then. and just really go to town with it. Got it. And actually, I'm gonna use that mech. And I'm ready whenever you are. I'm going to try to get out the Hellbringer and see how it does. I Something tells me it's not going to do so well. Okay, so actually, I'm bef going to try. actually, before we drop, I'm going to be doing ads on my stream because we're 30 minutes out from end of my stream. And we don't want to get interrupted by ads, so I'm sorry about this, everyone. Yeah. There we go. Ads are playing. Um, let me, um, let me put everything into perspective with the refusal war. You know how Clan Wolverine uh, basically. Don't you want to put the? Uh, don't you want to search for game meanwhile? Oh no, not right. Actually, yeah, why not? Okay, everyone, sync drop. Tears for above. North Bracket EU servers only. Three, two, one, drop. Yeah, while um while we're talking about it um yeah you know how the clan wolf basically was against the invasion yes he um basically and they took all the you know the wolf dragoon pil uh, pilots that decided to return to the clans like like Natasha one second Sorry about that. Um, but basically, they took the strategies of the Inner Sphere and applied it into the Clan War Doctrine for them. That's why they were so successful. And also, when they decided the Battle of Tukid, they also captured their objectives. Yeah. So, yeah, again, Clan Wolf is very pragmatic. Yeah. They, yeah, um, they just adapt to everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are only second to Clan Cosper in that, but uh -huh. that's mostly because the Clan, Wolf's, Clan Wolf is sketchy as hell when it comes to their dealings. Yeah. Um, and so the problem with the 15-year truce that they had have is that... The clan cycled through their warriors through a very high rate. In 3067, when the truce ended, they would be able to free to take up their crusade, but this was far beyond the service time of warriors in the clan galaxies. They would be long retired yes. and disgraced Sohoma units uh, that are basically who, disgraced older warriors who wouldn't see any action outside of suicidal Sohoma units. You know, like, basically... Going into um, Hunchback 2 Cs and just going crazy. Yeah. And so the Crusader element, there's a. Um, one second. <clears throat> Need to give myself a little bit of drink. And so the Crusader elements inside the clan decide to agitate the new hot-blooded warriors over this fact, and thus causing causing issues with the leadership. Mm hmm Which led to, of course, um, with, okay, Natasha Kerensky was Khan at this point, and was thinning out the ranks of the Crusaders by killing those foolish enough to challenge her in personal combat. Ulrich, however, saw the long-term consequences. And so, um, the, and so they, so the Crusaders, um, decided to launch a, um, a little investigation to Ulrich and charge him with treason. Basically accusing him of deliberately, deliberately entering the 
truce for the express purpose of letting the clans lose to come to the com guards and that he worked to raise um, Phelan Ward at this time, who was Phelan Kelp, by the way. Um, yep. They claimed he was an Intersphere agent to rank him as uh, to rank, uh, to his rank as spy for the Intersphere. You know, like oh, I didn't vote in time. We, we're in a match, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Mining collective assault. And so, so yeah, they they charged the can of Clan Wolf and probably Clan Wolf in general for for sabotaging uh, the crusade yeah. and the clan invasion. Yeah, more or less. And they demanded a trial of... And Clan Wolf demanded a trial of refusal, was it? Yeah. To um, essentially um, actually drop it was, the charges. Actually, it was... They um, um, charged um, Ulrich Kerensky with the charge of genocide, which is equal of accusing Ulrich to be the same level of Stefan Amaris. Oh. Oh, by the way, do they know the, about Stefan Amaris? Oh, yeah, the they clan? do. They regard him as the usurper. I see. All uh, right, carry on. Sorry okay. for interruption. Okay, and so um, Ulrich pointed out that that um, Fa um, Phelan Ward at that time, or say Phelan was made a bondsman, as many of many basically pointed out, fought his fought for his position, earned his blood name, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. And so... And so he decided to point out that, since he was ill con, he took the... dismissed the charges out of hand. And... the lore master at this time, which was a crusader, pointed to a... um... Made, basically, unexpectedly... Put that um, put put on the list. Basically, the charge of of conspiracy to destroy a clan's genetic heritage. We um, are we are in game. Okay. Did you not load yet? E oh yeah, I did. Sorry, I got distracted with explaining things. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I'll explain more afterwards. I just need to oh, bookmark shit. where I was. Enemy mech detected. Tank strike protocol active. Right behind you, Yozo. Yep, yep. I'm just purpose purposely saying behind in case someone decides some to try. Yeah, like, you know, you know like how lights are. Target engaged. Oh, someone has those continuous beam lasers. Ooh, that Centurion took a lot of damage on its head. UAV above. Target engaged. Light, light near our base, over there. No, I think they're gonna try to flank us. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on your back. Yeah, I need to back off here. Oh, look, our team is absolutely controlling nothing of the map. Yeah, what are we tr what are they trying to do they here? Managed to do that. But they accomplished it. Sorry for that. That's okay, I'm trying to get out of... Oh. We basically sacrificed most of the map here. For what? So guys, what are what is the plan here? Why are you all backing off onto onto a corner? Destroyed. 
Kinda need help with Juliet here. You're doing fine, Yosa, by the way. In my opinion. You're at least caring. Critical hit. Right. Torso. Yeah, yeah you couldn't do much else. Kill that Earth, Max. So, yeah, I lost most of... I had lost most of my side torso and center torso to a fear attack. I lost both side torsos at the same time. Push into Fox 5, everyone push into Fox 5 right now. got three mech behind you, you're about to lose your back. What are we... what are they doing? Push into Fox 5, guys. Come on, don't fucking run. Let's go. Are they drunk? Ugh. Son of a bitch. Your pants are a black hawk with up, only two late AC5s and a, a 1832 ammo. I don't think I approved that. Yeah. Take it to the torso. We got a we got something behind us. Turn around now. Okay, yeah, I'm for the next match. I'm Echo just breaking Echo out the four. LRM boat. No, ATM boat. Fucking local, so you know which leg to shoot. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't really do a thing because of our team. Still saying good game, but our team. There are pants yeah. on head, stupid. Alright, 213 damage done, uh, down arrow. 270 damage done, down arrow. One, two assists, one kill most damage dealt. Alright, so you have time for more matches? Yeah, I got, I got either one or two more left. Got it. And I'm breaking, breaking out... Um, I, which do you think I should break out, LRM or ATM? I am more of a fan of ATMs, okay. but I, to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of LRMs well, as of late. Time to bring the fear of LRMs back to everyone. I like... Uh, sorry, my cat started climbing on my leg. <laughs> What's the name of the cat? Barry. That's a berry. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to help. The dog is a little bit annoying right now. Uh, put, <laughs> hold on. Let me put it in ready and you start searching for a match in uh, the meantime. Okay. Yeah, in the meantime, we'll, while he's take care of the, take care of the animals, um, okay, we're doing sync drop again. Sync drop tiers four and above. North American EU serves only three, two, one, drop. All right, sorry for that. Oh, uh, that's fine. I understand. I actually had, um, I remember my Great Dane, um, um, dog that is, by the way, um, yep. whenever she wanted my attention when I'm on my computer, just put her, take, um, mind you, I was on my laptop, because that's all I had at that point in time, um, yep. just simply, got, um, 
got to the side of me and put her head in front of the in front of me. <laughs> Basically in front of the monitor and keyboard. <laughs> And I just simply move move the t move the TV table aside that had my computer on it, and just started paying attention to her. Um, bear claw. Although it looks like we're going bog. But yeah, yeah, my dog Katie was a real good dog. Hmm. I don't know why, but I thought the Hellbringer had uh, jump jets. I think it should. Maybe I didn't equip them and completely forgot about it. Let me it. double check here. Uh, you don't want to alt tap with loading just in case. Yeah, I'm keeping I an eye that out. Might be a problem. Okay. It's alternate configuration. Come on. Alternate configuration E that's supposed to have it, but I don't think we have an uh. E. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those people that just... I have my window open so you can hear traffic at times. Especially with when it comes to um, really, really fast motorcycles. Yeah, I didn't hear anything though. Although I don't know if your stream would have been different. I doubt it though. Yeah, um... I thought it, thought the microphone would have picked up on it because it was that loud. One second. Hello everyone, how you doing tonight? Reactor online. Centers online. Weapons All right, everyone. Online. Make sure to hit those override keys and lock All your targets for those who need it. This is Clad Oh, Crimson 66 is on an 8 match win streak. Let's ruin that! <laughs> Alright, everyone, to the circle! 66, I hate to break it to you, but I'm off like three joints and half a bottle of tequila. Three joints and half a bottle of tequila? <laughs> Okay, so what is... we have a pair of mechs on the swamp. I think I feel confident in peeking from this side of the mountain. I li Target um, engaged. what was I going to say? Enemy mech detected. I like putting in a little bit of trash talking in the Enemy. beginning, basically saying, for booze money. Level. Oh, crud. Overheat, overheat. Why people walk behind me? Well, I'm dead. Yeah, I just don't like the Hellbringer. I don't see. I don't understand how to use it. Destroyed. Critical hit. Center. Torso. Critical 
Out of my frickin' way! Careful with the flank. Target engaged. They are just passing through E5 right now. Target there is nothing engaged. to stop them. Never move out. Move, move right now. Target engaged. If you have four jump jets, you can try to jump on top of the mountain. Ah! Critical hit. Left torso. Ammo destroyed. They were just focusing on me, it looks like. Uh, 274 damage done. I did like 70 or something like that. Uh. Yeah, we're not winning this one, looks like. Target engaged. Satellite link Okay, I'm wondering what that Ebon Jack has because I've seen that build again. It has some beam lasers and um, those plasma cannons. They took down that hunchback. Good try, everyone. Your efforts here have been seriously disappointing. The enemy is victorious. Yeah, I don't think I like AP Gausses. They don't feel like they're worth it. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, I was three assists and 234 damage, as I mentioned, down arrow. Okay, even though uh, even though I have five, um, four minutes left, um, let's do one more match. Okay. Hold on, I'm still loading into the main menu. Yeah, I'm gonna break out my, um, my. Stealth Atlas, because where I was having better luck with that. Okay. I'm going to be using the Phoenix Hawk one. Okay.
I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, sync drop time. Last one for the night. Sync drop tiers for above. Now we're going to use there's only three, two, one, drop. Yeah, as we were talking about a bit, or, um, yeah, the Lord Master um, basically made the, that charge up on the spot, the third charge of it against um, Auric, basically on the spot that even hardcore crusaders were dumbfounded by this. Hmm. Basically, the logic was dubious. Um, the, um, the lore master claimed that Ulrich entered the truce in an attempt to populate the wolves with warriors who are would be inexperienced and untested when it ended. The truce, that is. And, right. the, and then they would be going up against a now ready inner sphere, which would make their far superior numbers with equivalent technology and seasoned warriors resulting in the destruction of the clans. That's that's just not logic that isn't good. There would be still the inner sphere would still be attacking you. No matter what. Yeah. And even though but the yeah, that... even though the charges oh. were more or less f uh, farce um, the lore master basically found a successful avenue of attack for the Crusaders. Um, basically, um, what happened was over because he couldn't dismiss the charges on this one. Um, and he refused to battle the charge out in his own clan, fearing it would tear them apart, along with Warden and Crusader lines. Even if they, even if he did win, um, at, the serious charge would simply be moved to the Crusader-dominated Grand Council. Mm -hmm. So he directed the charges before to the Grand Council. In this way, it would be Clan Wolf present um, pressure from the outside, rather from within which would help unite them behind Natasha and Phelan, who basically fall, followed Ulrich's orders without hesitation, despite his position. Um, um, as in Ulrich's orders, that is. And so Ulrich knew how this was going to end. B uh, uh, basically, him getting into a fight. Yeah. And the fight between Clan Wolf and the Crusader and the Jade Falcons, that I assume represented the Crusader's side, mm -hmm. uh, ended up with a Jade Falcon victory, but a Pyrrhic one at that, right? Yeah. Um, basically, um, there was the Red Corsair incident, base, uh, which was the Falcons were aggressively, aggressively trying to break the truce. Um, and we're leading the Crusader movement. And as Ulrich suspected, we're behind the, wolf, the wolves um, pressing against him. And so he decided to, hey, let's, let's take, um, kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna possibly be, end up dead either way. Well, might as well take down as many Crusaders as possible. Right. Um, and, and so when and, uh, hmm. and so when the charges were presented by Jade Falcon, um, he w nearly, was nearly voted guilty despite the wa strong war warden opposition and an impassioned speech by Cotton Phelan Ward, aka Phelan Kell. At um, you know what I mean. Um, yep. In, to debunk this thin logic, but the Crusaders basically. Underestim underestimated um, Ulrich because the Crusaders never had any interest in pressing the charges. They just wanted to get rid of the rid of him so they could take over. And so Ulrich decided to um, do the trial of refusal, 
not of himself against the proxy of warriors or warriors of the ground council, nor units of, of wolves. Basically, he bid the entire clan wolf against him. Yeah. And basically crippled the strongest crusader clan. And that's where that part of the story ends. Yep. And Clan Wolf in exile. Did Clan Wolf won? They... Uh, technically, they lost, but they shrug it off because of whole, the whole um whole thing with um Saka Christu's um um dishonorable tactics. Two stars of missile yeah. boats. And of course, Natas Natasha on Twycross basically, um, basically serving at, served as rear guard, ba um, more or less challenging everyone against, um, challenging everyone to basically against her, um, saving those um, forces of her, saving her forces. Right. And of course, as I mentioned, um, um, what was his name again? Vlad Ward. Okay, we got a match going. Um, Frozen City Knight skirmish. Um, and so, um, he survived this whole whole attack. Um, you know the whole that whole the whole the command whole battle. Yes. Yeah, and basically came out and say, "Hey, hey, this person was dishonorable," and had and they had to, and the that um the Sakon had to um basically or con whatever 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 I um basically um basically um showed off the showed off what really happened. And so Vlad initiated a trial refusal against Chris, um, the Khan of Jade Falcon, um, Christu, uh, that's his last name anyway, and killed him. So, and because at that time they formed, they formed together to form Jade Wolf. And because of that, because of everything that got uncovered, it got, they separated again, making it... Wolf yeah. and Jade Falcon. And of course, Phelan's um, Wolves in Exile were basically abjured and they left and dis they made a deal with Mork and Kel to make an enclave on the world of Ark Royale. And and just as a little, just as a nice middle finger to the clans, um, one second, um, Ulrich post-stated an order as Ilkhan to create a new blood name, Kel, so Phelan could continue to serve as Khan under clan law. You know, it's just a nice little middle finger to the clans there. Right. You're still connecting. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, I gotta love these issues. Uh, come on, load up so I could get in already. Come on, game. Do do not make me um force. End, end you and restart. Oh, finally. Wait, now it's loading? Oh, no, it's... Uh, now the wheel is moving.
they really need to replace it for, for a, with a bar. Yeah. As long as no one has snuck up behind me to kill me, I'm happy. Sorry about that, everyone. Had issues connecting. That's the only way to describe it, really. Okay, after. Luckily, I got stealth armor. Hopefully, there's no light mechs in our backfield. Oh, after after this game, I'm gonna do a little testing um, before we head off. I'm not gonna um, have the game up and running um, in que the ga um, as in shown on screen in question. It's a case of I want to see if the game will run with with the whole with the whole thing on the ob the whole streaming setup. Yeah. Because if it works, even though I have the quality set to to customize low, um, I might try to stream that. And no one's noticed me yet. <laughs> We're what the? Losses. What? No. <laughs> I'm sh oh. Okay, someone just stacked me with a headshot with a large laser? Instantly? Come on. Override, come on, override. <laughs> We've lost half our force. We can't lose any more soldiers. Hello there. And of course, I'm by myself. I will be helping for the game. So yeah, I know. I got. Yeah. 363 damage done, and I did a whole bunch of damage to this one mech, the Corsair. Le it really bothers me because it was instant. A single large laser and it was instant. I have more than that. I have no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, down arrow for me, 363 damage done. I did only 75. Okay. And yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Um, let me just go into the, my box here, put my crown away. <laughs> oh, and, and there we go. They're all back to normal. Um, let me just get out of MechWare Online real quick. So, um, bring up the other game I'm talking about. Because if it, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get into the game game itself because it doesn't help if you're in the main menu.
Which is understandable, right? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm... I'm loading up another game. I'm basically to check if it'll function while while uh, OBS is streaming and all that fun stuff. Ah, okay. I have to. I'm signing in according to this, and it's just a case of have to wait. Okay, loading into the game itself. Of course, it's a loading wheel that's just to be moving. And it works. Yep, it works, so guess what? It's another game to add to my list of games that I could play. Alright. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, for those who... Um, no, one second. Just so you know, for those who want to follow me or subscribe, I do have a schedule, which is in the chat. Um... MechWarrior Online Fridays as usual. Any games on Sunday. Battle Mech Advanced 362 on Mondays. All at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have a Twitter, um, which is also in the chat. I post random things at times or when I when I go live, so you can keep an eye on there. I also have a Discord to hang out in. Again, link is in the chat. So if you're interested in that, just click on the link there. Yeah, if... I am also going to be ending stream soon. Oh, sorry. I... Oh, that's okay, Yoza. Um, anything uh, you want on. to add, in, add on? No, not really. I hope you all have a good day or a good night, whichever of the two applies. And I'll be seeing you all later. Okay, Um, we're going to be doing a raid, just so you know. Um, let me find... Okay. Let me find someone to raid. Um, trying to. F I'm not going for the big ones, you know, ninety viewers, tw seventy-seven. I'm going for the smaller ones. Let's let's try this person again. Uh, okay. Who is this person? I'm right now. Ch um. Oh. Okay. Um. Got a person. Let's see if this. Nope. Their settings do not allow for raids. Next person. No, that's me. <laughs> yeah. And that's you. <laughs> let's. Okay. Let's go with. Okay, well, we're going to go with the big one. We're going to go with Star Wolf here. Got, Got it. Um, I'll... Come on, you freaking mouse. Uh... What are you trying to do? Try to copy the name. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, my here. mouse having issues. Yeah, it's anyway. alright. Uh, Star Wolf, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. There we go. Great all set up on my end. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there, everyone. Bye. Yep. Bye-bye, everyone.